what it is, Hollywood. We got Zach and Kiefer up there laying down the sexy beats. Let's give it up for Zach. I am your humble comptroller, Jeff Davis. Harmontown is once again in session. Let's give it up for Spencer Crittenden. And your glorious mayor is Dan Harmon. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, uh, oh, I like yeah. his beat. But the bound, I like the beat. Down, 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 Okay, thank you for coming, everybody. Uh, uh, it's a it's a it's a mellow evening. We knew we were in trouble when uh, Steve Levy did his uh, his little his little walkabout out here. I kind of l- looked at his watch. It was kind of like I was watching him on the monitor. I'm like, that's a guy that wants a little bit of applause. He's, yeah, <laughs> and yet the... and you guys were like, fuck you, start the show. Yeah. <laughs> But yet, the vodka is still not out here. That's because he didn't get that little pop so, he was yeah, going for. Yeah, you think he's going to like give it up now? Uh, yeah. So what, what if I went back there and got the vodka out for you? Would I get stabbed by Steve Levy? I'm more worried about them. Uh, you know, like yeah. I, I just like, like, Levy can have whatever he wants. You know, like he's, he, he's he, the, the world is oyster. He's a millennial. Uh, question is, what's up their ass? Like, what did you, what, did you was it was it a tough night? Tough tough in line. It's just, it's just a late, late, late start. I, I, I asked him for a pen and paper, and I got an envelope with butterflies on it. <laughs> An envelope's paper. She's 828. That's what, that, that explains yeah, that. We, yeah, so, man. Sorry for the late start. Everybody. We had some technical stuff you were told yeah, about. So, that. We, we, are, we were driving home from uh, Northern California. We got stopped at a fruit inspection, and we lost Dan <laughs> for two hours. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm gay. <laughs> Uh, no, I'd say, I'd, I'd say you're a delicious, you're a delicious fruit. <laughs> you're like a, you're like a nectarine. <laughs> uh, and gay. It's yeah. okay. It, it's all right to be a gay nectarine, Dan. This is probably a shitty theater to sit in for a half hour. Like, yeah, you, you got know. popcorn and whatnot. You got the, the popcorn. Snacks. I mean, that's that's the thing. You get the popcorn and then you're like, God damn, I'm thirsty. And then they're like, would right. you like a LaCroix? Another one? They're $3. Who wants a water? I got a free water. Any, any, anybody thirsty? You got one? That yeah. one guy has one. Okay. I'm, I'm thirsty, and I, I got all the water I want back there. <laughs> I had two LaCroix. <laughs> you think LaCroix is bad for you if you drink, like, let's say if you knew a guy who drinks, like, 18 no. a day? They're, they're bad for you if you like things that taste good. <laughs> Spencer, Woo! Spencer, how? Woo! Yeah. Uh, hashtag cold take. <laughs> how how oh. are you, Spencer? Oh, I'm great. Um, I was at I was at this restaurant the other night, and um, in the middle of it, the music completely changed and got really, really loud. And some MC of sorts was like, "Well, everybody, we're about to welcome the uh, samba dancers." And then two uh, the samba, samba dancers. dancers came out and were just standing in front of the table, well, not standing. They danced out and were dancing in the front of the table, about ten feet from where I was. And it's just the music was was unending and it was just so loud and it's like I don't want to look at this because it just seems like a spectacle that I don't want to be a part of and I never asked for and I was just looking to eat you know and it was just it was just a mess and I was just stewing and everyone else was having a fun time they were taking videos and laughing and stuff where and were, were like, you Whole Foods I was at Whole <laughs> I was at Whole Foods the Chuck E Cheese <laughs> I was at the hot case you know the they have this case. barbecue <laughs> this barbecue hot case Hashtag. it's great they got like a lobster mac. I, I, I gotta write. I gotta barbecue. write my notes down on a butterfly envelope now. Like, like what the fuck? Nobody this... gives a shit anymore. I mean, it's like it's like you know, 
old Uncle Harmon pulled away everyone's <laughs> pension, you know. Now everyone, nobody's, 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 nobody's kissing any more ass like they used to. We can't afford notebooks. Okay, we got true colors coming out from I all directions. I used to bring my own. Yeah, I gave up. I, like, I stopped bringing my, uh, my iPad. So this my... is on you. Yeah. It's, it's you me. don't have the tools but, that but you used to bring. I, I'm saying, uh, is, is there paper... The answer was yes. Jeff, is there something That's you'd paper. like me to take a note uh, about? Because he I could down use good names. my modified stylus Galaxy Note 10 Plus. Oh, what are you shit. talking about? Steve what? Levy with a vodka. Oh, don't encourage him. He Do loves not it. encourage this. Thank you, Steve. For my oh, butterfly note. It. Yeah, okay. Why do you have a Samsung device, huh? Is it fun? Uh, yeah, I got this uh, because I miss the old iHarmon, and um, I wanna, I'm want to. i going to fit this with a lanyard, and I'm going to wear it around my neck. No, you're not. And I'm going to remain an iPhone user because I don't want to be one of these green bubble people, but uh, I'm just going to have this around my neck uh, because society's left me no choice because there is no such thing as an electronic notepad that is the size of a notepad. There's a million brands of like $30 electronic notepad or baby's first notepad. Like they're all like eight inches, 12 inches. The smallest one I could find is a thing called like a MOBA script or something. And it like, everything looks like a, I look like a deaf person from the 1800s. Like if I wear it around my neck, uh, no offense to the 1800s, but I, I, I <laughs> Like I'm just saying, like it's like a certain dimension of thing. You just right. look like you look like Laura Ingalls Wilder in a, like a very special little house. Like, uh, but uh, you know, and this is gonna look totally Fucking cool. Cool. It'll it's look pre- fine. It's pretty hot. But I think I could take like I think what I can do is I can go I can take like a mead spiral notebook cover and put it over like I don't know I could make my own custom case. So that it just looks like why a guy. Do, with why a does it have to be around your neck? Because I need to, as quickly as possible, perhaps while in the middle of a conversation. You, you, but you, with, you ain't got time to reach into that pocket. No. You, you want it to be idea. right right by your sternum and your xiphoid process. Yeah, that's correct. Did you want the answer to your question? Y- yes. Yeah, because that is correct. It's okay. a matter of milliseconds. Like, it's a that, matter of like, hey, Jeff, take a quick note with your uh, iPhone. I want you to, to make a quick note of something. About what? Uh, oh, don't forget, uh, I, I mean, Dr. Zhivago's showing at the Arclight uh, next while, Tuesday. Wh- while you asked me, I reached into my pocket and pulled out... Oh, no, he- yeah, don't forget to turn it on. Don't forget to find the fucking app. Don't forget to thumb Zhivago in half the, after the seven autocorrects where it says, do you mean Zimbabwe? Like, <laughs> oh, and, and the entire time you're doing it, I think you're a tool because it looks like you're tweeting or texting. What, what, what was your question about Dr. Zhivago? I didn't have fucking questions. You did, and then you interrupted the fucking answer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I want to be able to eliminate the barriers. The answer is Pasternak. Between my thoughts Thank and uh, containing David them Lean. eternally. So you pull this out. This Omar is the, Sharif. The Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus. I know all the answers to that shit. It's a $1,000 electronic notepad. You think about getting that fold one, the one that folds, it folds in, in You got to get that fold one. No, Spencer, Dan doesn't have time to open up an item. <laughs> well, exactly. You, it, 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 it's milliseconds count. It, it has to be unfolded before he even is asked a question. No, That's I mean, I, I agree 100% with that. That's so, the reason I used to carry like a moleskin. You know, because the it's S like pen was not fast enough for me, so I super glued a little nipple to it. <laughs> what does that do? It makes it faster to because I it, it, like like push you push on the S pen it's like flush with the bottom and then you gotta like dig it out with your thumbnails it's like what's the point yeah, of that click so I super glue a little nipple to it. The cool thing about the Galaxy Note 10 Plus I don't know if like Galaxy Note 10 9 Plus had this already but I'm pleased with the technology now because they finally managed with a thousand dollars of electronics to actually surpass a regular notebook because you don't have to turn a page but you can do everything else. You pick it up, you take the fucking pen out. As soon as you do, it goes into a mode that you can write any kind of fucking AIDS shit, whatever, no AIDS? Whatever. <laughs> and, you gotta write and, AIDS shit. And then you, you can give your phone AIDS. I didn't have to do anything but take the pen out as with a regular thing. And then when I put it back in, it saves it, goes back to sleep, boom, bam, done. Cure, and cures it. <laughs> Hell yeah. Congratulations, Samsung. You've beaten the fucking 1950s notebook. Finally, God damn it with this technology. It's like it's like, it's like nobody ever nobody ever makes anything for me. 
You know, there's a million kinds of like, you know, they got the technology necessary to make an interactive whiteboard that stores all of your, your the process of breaking a story. I could have, I, I, you know how much, you know how much magic's going on up here that everyone missed out on? I'm, I'm, I'm like semi-retired now. No one's ever going to know how I did what I did. Right. But they could. God, if that they, tech they, was they, there. They'd be so excited. Have you, have you tried writing things down on butterfly envelope? I, I, I can't do it. I can't do it because then I'll have a butterfly envelope with some shit written on it. And then it's like, oh, why don't you take a photo of this, bring it into an app that scans it with OCR and fucking like turns that into text. It's like, go blow it out your ass, world. What? Yeah. All right, there's no guest tonight. Uh, <laughs> or you think like Molly th- Shannon's I, I, gonna walk out after all this? Like, <laughs> Molly, yes! Molly wow, Shannon. Well, it was weird at first, but Lauren's okay sometimes. Uh, no, you get nothing. No, it's not true, Dan. It's not true. We made these people wait for a half hour before we came out. We're gonna give these motherfuckers the greatest harm in town that they've ever seen. Whoa. <laughs> I say, and I, I, I put this in Spencer's court. Spencer did not bring any character sheets, but Spencer, what if we just played some full-on D&D right now? What like, if we really, like, like, re- really just knuckled down? Like, like, what, like, can we remember everything that we need to know? Like, I, no, I, I, you can't, but we could play without having that. Okay. Or you could use me, the memory sprite. Oh, shit! Memory it, Sprite! It's me, Memory, memory sprite. sprite. Memory Sprite, your voice is higher than last time. You remembered. <laughs> You're welcome. Memory Sprite. Oh, shit! Come back home, bitch. Wait! Memory Nah, sp- nah, dog. Come on. <laughs> nah, come on now. Come on, motherfucker. Get back in the car. Nah. No, I don't, I don't gotta do nothing. Get in the fucking car, or the car will get in you. What's that mean? Oh, ow, ah, ow! Take it, take the car. Ah, ah, ah. This is a night to remember. You'd know. <laughs> I can't stay mad at you. Memory Sprite Senior. Wait, wait, it, it, it's his dad? I was your dad the whole wait, time. Just, <laughs> this has been incest is, porn, is... my favorite. Yay, <laughs> one billion Pornhub users can't be wrong. So it wasn't just incest porn. No, no, it, it, it was just incest porn. It, but but <laughs> un, underneath the guise of two cars fucking. <laughs> well, I don't think, I, th- there was... T- that was one guy fucking another guy with a car. <laughs> Using a car as like a but, marital but, aid. But you said it was... It, it was senior. It was... Uh, memory Sprite. Senior. I don't know. How do you picture Memory Sprite? You think he's a car? I, I don't think so. I mean, I'm not telling you how to imagine. <laughs> if you pictured a car, fine. I pictured like a little oh, Tinkerbell, God. but like uh, kind of an androgynous Tinkerbell. Right. And then was fucked by a, a, a fatherly car? And they, Well, I pictured like a, just a dude pulling up in a car. Oh. Going like, get in the car. Also, this wasn't car-based at all. It was just straight incest porn. It was porn. car. Car was a, played a pivotal role. It but was it a, wasn't yeah. like a character. Oh, oh they, were, they weren't like Voltron. They weren't, they, 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 they were, they were, they were, they weren't cars themselves. Well, they were like Voltron in a way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, Yeah. They did. There were parts that, that fit into, interlocked together yeah, yeah. to form a different thing, but it wasn't really a defender of the universe. It yeah. was a yeah, just, it was just, a, a sprite with a yeah, car yeah, up his yeah, ass. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, I mean, should I, I'll do it again, but with foley work, so you understand what's happening more. Because right. right. maybe I was, yeah, I was wa- leaving wa- too walk us through it so there's no. Hey, it's me, the memory sprite. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, extra, extra, get your pizzas over here. I got the pizza in the newspaper. We're in New York. Um, uh, uh, it's me. I'm on the sidewalk. I'm the memory sprite. Hey, get, get, oh. Get in the car. I like to, I like to, 
play on the radio. I'm a rap music on the radio in the car. Get in the car. Wait, is the car talking or is the guy no, driving the car? The car? The car has rap music coming out of it. Okay, but the what, what, the get in the car voice is is a human being in a car. In the, yeah. yeah. Okay. Get, get in the car that I'm driving okay. that right. I just put in park. Okay. Don't make me open this door. Boom, 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 boom. I'll just open a little bit to show you I mean business. <laughs> Closed it. Nah, come on, nah. Uh, et cetera, et cetera. You can get dog. I'm putting the car up your ass. <laughs> Pull down your pants. What, what, what? Oh, my ass. There goes the car. What, he, 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 what are you writing down? He, I, I, what are you writing down? <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 oh. <laughs> Even I know to, this isn't noteworthy. To, to my discredit, I haven't written enough down. I wrote down memory sprites. Uh, so the guy driving the car has another car that he put inside the car that he puts in your ass no. when he pulls you over. Why are you ma- you're making it so complicated. There's a guy in a car. It's but, just like... And he, but he puts the car that he's driving in your ass? Yeah. He is, said, is he, he said, inside he said, it? Because he said, in get in the car right. or I'm going to put the car in you. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Continue. It's like what, when my dad used to say, like, I'll give you something to cry about or don't make me take my belt off. Right. You know? So go I'm ahead. I'm going to put the so, car okay, so, in so, you. So, so chapter two of Memory Sprite gets pulled over uh, by, by a guy in a car. Well, that I mean, okay. All right. Well, late, later that night. <laughs> cricket, cricket, chirp, chirp. Um. I'm almost ready. Okay. You know, huh, some crazy shit going on with this Ukraine shit. <laughs> what? I can't hear you. I'm just, I need to hydra- hydrate my pores with cucumber slices. Nothing, just reading the news. Come wait, 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 on, I'm wait. horny. Pause. Oh. <laughs> I, I, I hit I hit pause on this. Okay. Where, where is Memory Sprite right now? In the bathroom. Okay, ready not, for not bed. in a car up a butt. No. Okay. Uh, did, did establish, didn't you hear the crickets? That's clearly an establishing shot of like a Sprite And house. so am I getting this right? But the Memory Sprite Senior's Dracula is what I'm getting from this? Uh, where'd you get that? That's just... <laughs> is that... I, I inferred the wrong thing. Oh. I, for cucumbers? Or what? Yeah. Why, why? They own a vegetable patch? Are they so comfortable together now that they're, that they're just going to spend the night together at a, at a Holiday Inn suite? Or, and, uh, what's going on? Yeah, like, I think they live together, and the, the, he's, he's in bed do, reading like his iPad. He's checking out the right. news They section. live together? But, but, but he's mem- like, BuzzFeed, <laughs> Six, 16 things famous people did. They aren't even trying anymore. But Memory Sprite was in a car up a butt at one point before this, right? Yeah, that yeah, was chapter was, one. Yeah, that was chapter okay. one. Okay. Now they're home. Oh, oh, home. But I thought they were in a Holiday Inn. No, I, 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 I inferred that. I, I implied that. I, well, I, it was very obvious by the text. <laughs> but did they, w- w- did they know each other when they met, w- when the car pulled up and said... They're well, father and son. <laughs> but you didn't find that out until the very end. <laughs> Okay. That was All the right. blow to chapter one. Okay. <laughs> Father <Hey>. and son. <laughs> Go ahead. Chapter three. <laughs> I like chapter All two. Right. <laughs> oh, shit. Um, Memory Sprite graduated college? Do it. <laughs> <laughs> There's a college at the Holiday Inn? <laughs> Do you, memory sprite, take this diploma to be your lawfully earned degree in incest? Why, uh, why didn't they play Here Comes the Bride instead of uh, Pomp and Circumstance? Uh, that wasn't... Was it? No. Da, 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 da. Here is your master's degree. Uh, I think I'm pretty uh, sure. You, you, you went. Uh, da, 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 da. Well, he you might have been the one he did. Well, that wasn't pomp and circumstances. Is is here 
comes your bride. She's gonna get married. Chapter five. Holy shit. Chapter five. Um. Ch- chapter four is mostly just kind of like, you know... Being married to high school. Yeah, exactly. Uh, ch- chapter hey, five is the, is the final chapter of, the, yeah. of this book. Gentlemen, this cartel has suffered enough indignities for two reasons. Memory Sprite <laughs> and his incestuous father, Memory Sprite Senior, Chipotle. <laughs> Chipotle? Yeah, it's like okay. a, I, I'll research it later, but it's no, like no, no. placeholder dialogue for authentic Latinx like profanity. <laughs> I don't want to be offensive, so I'm gonna farm it out to somebody. Okay. Like and they'll get a big credit. Everybody wins. Fuck off. Um and uh yeah, that's the cold open. Like they throw a knife into a into a board in a tent and it's got like memory sprite's face on it, and then you push in on that image and it's like don't, 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 don't. Memory Sprite and his incestuous father in Memory Sprite and incestuous father end game. <laughs> um, and then it, and then it kind of builds to like, and it's like Brooklyn. And uh, Memory Sprite finishes. Can we, can we hear the the rest of that song? <laughs> <laughs> The hook, the brook, 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 the boot, the boot, Brooklyn. When I want to get off the BQE and go out for something to eat, I'll see. Get the 405 to the three way. I'm going to feel alive on Third Street. I'm going up Fifth Avenue. Broadway, what you going to do? I saw cats yesterday. I'll see Borg of Mormon tonight. I'm from New York doing it right. East Coast, every borough, Staten Island, Queens, Brooklyn, Bronx, Mississippi. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, thanks, for, and, and, and thanks for... Uh, uh, thanks for... Uh, it's not me. often that, I, that I, the fifth chapter of something gets a cold open. Yeah. <laughs> thanks for helping me make that basket, Dad. No problem. Let's make love. <laughs> what are you going to use this time? It's the fifth chapter. Let's just say I'm having an empire state of mind. Oh, no, not the world's tallest building before nine, after 9-11 also. Before, before, oh, come on. <laughs> I, I, I promise not to make it up again. Uh, get it up my ass. Okay, it's up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Empire State Building is up my ass. Yeah, you like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. <laughs> uh, look out! <laughs> Chipotle! Look out! Oh, oh, shit. Oh, wait, and you should do a mislead. Oh, I'm just glad everyone's still alive. Oh, oh. All right, now you did a better mislead than that. Come on, Dad, let's get back to the. <gasps> oh. Dad! Son. Oh. Did I g- get to put stuff up your butt this time? <laughs> yeah, you did. I know you're lying. Son, promise me. You'll find these sons of bitches and make them pay. I will. (sighs) Closing uh, credits music. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) Yo. (laughs) Memory Sprite The the credits are rolling. (laughs) My name is MC Credits. I'm rolling. (laughs) Rapping back the movie you saw, recapping it, Arkansas. I'm a Mr. Credit Rapper. I'm rapping about the movie, Credit Rapper. <laughs> Best boy, super grip, catering. What a trip. 
No animals harmed? Yeah, right. I fucked your mama so hard the other night. Got a credits rolling, credits rolling. Mr. Rappity Rap, but credits rolling. Oh, but uh, f- funny deleted clip. Uh, what? Seth Rogen. <laughs> what are you doing in this scene? <laughs> I don't know. That's not really traditionally. You don't have like, like, like clips where an actor just popped by. It. <laughs> but I did what I could on the fly. All right. Yeah. So <laughs> thanks for thanks, Jeff, for teeing me up for uh, all that. <laughs> Man, so I just watched the second Adams Family movie. You guys, these guys are fucking twisted. Like Morticia Adams, she gives birth and like. During labor, she's like into it, <laughs> which I was like, I was the whole movie. I was thinking about that. I'm like, that's so funny. Like, when do you ever see, you know, pregnancy in the birth giving process is like pleasurable at night? Like, she's like, yeah, I'm loving this. It's Cause, like, you know, usually someone's screaming bloody murder right. or it's like kind of done in, in uh, what do you call it? Like, uh, without any words, you know, you just hear music. Because non spooky. Uh, women, when they give birth, they're like, "Ooh, this is scary." It's painful, and I don't like it. And she's like, "Oh, I'm, I'm getting I love it. ripped up. I love everything that hurts." <laughs> yes, I love yeah. childbirth. That's a really that's foggy, man. No, that's it's funny. It's funny. It's fu- like, oh, I love childbirth because it hurts. Yeah, because that's how well, twisted so there's a they child. Are. But then, then does she look at the baby and go, Ugh, "Gross"? I think she does. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. think they do that. It's so innocent, and yeah. then the and then the 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 Dracula doctor's like, but it could end up like murderer, and she's like, okay. <laughs> then I love it, and then I love it as much as cold soup. <laughs> that's your name, cold soup. Yeah, yeah that's what happens. Yeah. <laughs> it's a great, it's a great film. And the, then the, and then uh, uh, Gomez comes in and goes, honey, I just heard the polar ice caps are melting. Oh, good. Yes, this global warming is really the cat's pajamas because they just love bad stuff. Yeah, it's it's so good. Yeah, they're like uh, the kids are trying to kill the baby, and it's horrifying. But the baby doesn't die, and so then it's fine and not horrifying. It probably can't die. Yeah, more or less, it like stops a guillotine with its bare hand. What? It's like a superhero baby because otherwise it would die, and that would be horrible. <laughs> Otherwise, they'd just be killing a baby on. Do them. you think that's how the th- the thing, not the thing, thing, their their hand character, mm-hmm. the, maybe that that was one of their first kids, and like <laughs> Pugsley and Wednesday, what's her name? Yeah, Wednesday? Wednesday. That they successfully they they put it in a guillotine and it reached up with his hand, but it didn't have steel skin, so it just <laughs> got its hand severed. And yeah. then they're like, "What are you doing? Did you kids murder your your our baby? We had to." Come here, you wonderful kids. Love I love this. murder because we're you Adams. You take and... after my, my yeah. your dad or whatever. Well, we'll just put the hand in a box, and it'll be our friend. What's uh? What, what's Pug? What's Pugsley's deal in this movie? He's like a a mean kid. He's he's often he's often uh, a a victim of Wednesday's sadistic schemes. Right, but th- th- but does he have a power? Does he offer no. anything? He, he's just kind of a. Pugsley. He's a dumb. He's like dumb. Is right. main, his main thing. He's like dumb. He can. He can. He can. He can like dangle weights from his pierced dick. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he's they, really. They don't, they don't show that in the movies because he's like a kid in the movies. Yeah. <laughs> but the, in the comic book, in the Alan Moore original material, he's like thirty and he works at a carnival. <laughs> And he, he does, like, body modifications. He stuff. fucking loves sounding. He can't get enough sounding. <laughs> what is that? Wait, what is that? I think it's when you, you like, insert rods into your urethra. Oh. Pugsley loves oh, sounding. Oh, that's too far. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, it's painful. You, you just I, made a father fuck a child with a car. <laughs> uh, but not a rod. I don't like the rods. No, isn't that uncomfortable? To think about too much true crime, yeah. There's too many true crime stories with the uh, yeah. There's like that was like some guy that like tortured kids. It was like bad. How, how much weight, Dan? <laughs> do you think? And, and like, let, let's say like, 
and like it, it was gain. yeah. yeah. How, how much weight, like in kilograms or pounds, do you think you could dangle from your dick? Oh, I don't think I feel like zero. Like I don't, I don't, I don't feel like even a pound. Like I don't. Let's wanna... say you had a very comfortable rod already in there. That I was, don't. That, that, that was nice. That was like structural, like, like st- sterilized and good to go. Nah, I don't and you think... could like you you could put like like you know. A, a, a couple ounces on that. I don't, probably. Don't, I don't think so. I could do like maybe two pounds. I feel. You think you could do two pounds? I think I can maybe two do pounds two, is two a lot pounds. off your dick. Well, how long are we talking? <laughs> <laughs> like, is that all day? Because I don't want to. No, wanna, no. I, I, don't I, think... I, I think five five seconds. Yeah, I think well, two pounds. It the time doesn't matter. It's not like I slowly rip your dick off. Like... Right. That's what I'm saying. Ugh, I know. I, I'm just like, 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 no, like the the problems that are gonna happen are gonna happen right away. <laughs> and so I'm like, no, no pounds, no, no, no pounds. Uh, what about you, let, Jeff? Let, let, let's say that you could cure leukemia mm. if you dangled five pounds of weight off your cock for fifteen seconds. I'd I, do that. I'm not letting you. This is a gotcha question. <laughs> You you'd rather let people die of leukemia. There's children out there, Dad, who have say leukemia. That. I didn't say and that. And your dick is so precious to you that you couldn't dangle five pounds of weight off of it. I don't. For 15 I don't. Seconds. I'm not buying into your scenario. I think leukemia is caused by disingenuous friendships. <laughs> Whoa. All right. Uh, I'd like to bring up our first guest, Timmy. Uh, no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he couldn't make it tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Either because I refuse to mutilate myself or because it's Jeff. Yeah. Um, yeah, well, moving right along. We've got a lot of show to get through here tonight, so let's keep it moving. Uh, Jeff, what does your envelope say so far? My, it says, well, it's not, not a whole lot. It says, memories brighten father. Dangle weights from his penis. Wait, you wrote that down? I write. I, I I usually write just things down. You just write them down, and you. But then, you, did you write it down before you said it? No, I I write it down and think later on if it's a callback, like I can look at the thing. But right now, I'm too dazzled by the fact there's butterflies everywhere, and so normally I have a lot more notes than than just those two things. Did you you guys know about the feral hog? Uh... Thing. I got to shoot, like, the guy that had to shoot, he had to murder yeah. 30 to 50 feral hogs in the space of five minutes or something. Well, anybody listen to that podcast, Reply All? Yeah, that's kind of fun. Wait, what happened? Uh, well, there was this kind of, I don't know if you call it a meme, there was, like, a trope, a thing, a, a phenomenon a online where, like, there was, some, there was some assault rifle talk going on on Twitter, and then there was a guy... No one needs an assault rifle. Who needs an assault rifle? And then someone tweeted and said, a question for rural... America, how, how how do I deal with the 30 to 50 feral hogs that run into my yard while my two to three children are playing every 10 minutes or whatever the fuck? <laughs> Something really specific, and everybody was like having a gas with it because it was kind of silly. It just seemed like a guy that was just making up a reason why you would need an assault rifle. Um, and he was, but 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 then the Reply All podcast, which is which is really great. It's a great podcast. Like, uh, um, it, as it, as it always does, like it, it, it just went down the rabbit hole of that story. First c- contacting that guy who as always on reply, all turns out to be a wonderful human being who's like totally gets why it's funny. He's like, there is like, there, he's like, do you understand why everyone like foot was like retweeting it? And Megan was like, yeah, no, it's a, it's a, it's a ridiculous tweet. Like I was, I was like, what's ridiculous to you about it? He's like, well, wow, it's just the, no- first of all, 30 to 50 is a weird number. <laughs> like he ran down the whole thing. It was like, they, but, but also the guy was like, you know, it was like, oh shit, this feral hog thing is a real thing. And he did have that experience, basically. He didn't have an assault rifle, um, uh, but he was just sort of like in the moment, he was like from his own life experiences, like saying, here's a reason you'd need an assault rifle. Um, and and then and then so then the, the episode continues to just go into this whole feral hog thing, which is fucking fascinating. Um, so the Spaniards, when they came, when they when they were conquistadoring or whatever, like they, they would they would like uh, conquering is that, is that problematic? 
um, they would, I guess it was like a, a, a medieval thing to like, you would bring pigs with you. And this is already cool. Like, like, <laughs> like, like, like this is such, this is such weird, like Minecrafty kind of like almost modernish kind of thinking like the, Guys who are in the business of of like colonial imperialistic, just like fucking world paving, like they would just bring hogs with them because they fuck like rabbits and they're they turn everything they eat into bacon. Which you and and, and so they you just take a couple pigs with you when you get on a ship and wherever you land, if there's a forest, you kick their little asses out of the boat. You know they're gonna go fuck and like raise like the, the pigs are like the fastest reproducing uh, mammals or something like that, which I find astonishing. And uh, and the way they describe it is like they basically do all the foraging you would otherwise have to do, and they turn every acorn, leaf, insect, they turn it all into one big mobile fucking pork unit. Um, <laughs> and, 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 and they wouldn't... Um, they wouldn't build pens. <laughs> <laughs> mobile pork <parking. laughs> Jeff's writing it down. I want to see the day when that comes in handy when somebody like stumbles up to you on a sidewalk goes like, what did he say about this? And you're like, it's a mobile pork unit. <laughs> um, he's getting a little, little, little creased up envelope in your, in your, in your pocket. But, but I just think that's fascinating because particularly it, it, it's, um, it's not what we associate with like agrarian society. It was like, they would let the pigs, they wanted them to flourish. Right. So it was like, it was like, sort of like, you let the pigs out into the wild and then you start conquistadoring, knowing that wherever you go, as you're looking for your fountains of youth or whatever the fuck you're doing, like that you've now seeded this land with these mobile fucking pork units. So you're just gonna run across them. They're easy to hunt. They've they've turned everything into pork, and you just go and you and you just eat it, and then you keep moving. I I just find that so like like disgustingly human like it's such a beautiful thing and now we're suffering for it like all these centuries later these are there's there's this, like there was a sort of like dormant pig population um it, here's the craziest most ironic thing about it so so that when the feral pig problem suddenly like, starts to blossom in the united states the first instinct given our lessons we've learned from the passenger pigeon and thing you just go this is easy we know what to do open season on feral pigs have at it america and a uh, little problem there. Like, uh, Cops hunt, are hunt, also hunt, killing pigs. pigs is like, it, it's, if, you're, if you're down for killing, like, it is the, like, open season on pigs is, like, way cooler than open season on pigeons. Like, like you get to now take quarter sticks of dynamite and create booby traps where pigs are flying in the air. You, <laughs> you get to pop in a helicopter and have a headset and just go, Brrr. um Like, they fuck so fast. They, they're, they're ready to fuck again six months after they're born. Um, and, and they're, like, they, but here's the crazy irony to it. The reason they're spreading out of control is because it's legal to hunt them and it's fun to hunt them for some people, like tourists and things. Like there's a thriving business and industry. It's kind of like the poaching thing where it's like there are people in the world who never want these things to go extinct because they now have a way to make lots of money, i.e. charging tickets to like bring you along to fuck up pigs and your weird and, jigsaw sociopathic I, I, I fantasies. I know a couple of chefs that, that they pay to go out and hunt wild boar so they can get, you know, boar bacon and, you know, like uh, render boar fat. There are farmers out there uh, that who whose videos are almost indistinguishable from the kind of like horrible kind of like guys who are laughing with glee as they're like blowing up these these pigs but like the difference is like there are farmers out there who wish they were just all gone and who right. are not enjoying killing thousands of them a week going out four nights a week at three in the morning on three wheelers with assault rifles going like and just like night vision and but apparently these things are so smart you can't trap them the same way twice if you trap a pig um and another pig sees it um no other pig's ever going to fall for that trap <laughs> It sounds like a joke, but it's like if you if you if they build a house out of straw, like uh, <laughs> another one's got one made out of brick the next day. It's crazy. 
<laughs> they tried introducing wolves into the wild and all. And now we just now we just got homeless pigs. That's it. But you you, you have a bunch of dudes with uh, with guns running around killing pigs, but they're they're breeding faster. Than uh, well, they also can be these guys. But it's like it's like that, that's the super irony to me is like they um they. They like the guy in Jurassic Park three. It's it's like like, like they abscond with fucking pig. Like they breed them and they spread them. What? Because they're they're their bread and butter. Pork is their bread and butter. Like they it, 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 they're they're here's here's something crazy. Here's how huge the problem is, Jeff. Large. Uh, PETA and the National uh, Feral Hog Genocide uh, uh, Enthusiasts, like, I don't know what they're called, like, the American Farmers Association, who are, who are, like, suffering the brunt of this, like, infestation. PETA and those guys are arm in arm just because even PETA is, like, this madness has to stop, and the like, the the like, like, like w- w- it has to stop in the most humane way possible. Like they 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 lobby together. That's how fucked up the situation is. And there are people that are like, uh, let's poison them all. And the, but the po- to poison a thing that is like the size of a human means well, what are you going to use? Well, look at how much rat poison you know are you going to put? And then and then and then it's like this like crazy thing. Like and that's actually the point we've gotten to. That's the end of the story. Is that actually Actually, even the people that are like environmentalists who are like, if you if you poison these these pig population enough to like try to wipe them out, it means poisoning the earth around them. It means per- poisoning the entire biosphere, yeah. everything that eats those carcasses, every all the plant life. Like, and and those people are even saying at this point, it's the only practical alternative to like uh, what could actually be a really serious human impacting thing. So it's like it's it they're you know the the story compares it to, to, to the decision to do chemo, like where you're just like, I'm just going to attack myself with like something that kills everything and maybe won't kill me as much as it kills this thing. Cause like the feral pig problem is like that real crazy. <laughs> this is, this has been me recapping a podcast. You should listen to <laughs> now. You don't have to listen That's to that episode. Fun. Uh, it's our new segment called Mobile Pork Units. <laughs> some I, I, see, told I, me, I wrote it down so I could remember. Some people, that. Cody at one point said, you know, we, we drink too much LaCroix and like it's got like insecticide in it or something. I said, that sounds like fucking garbage talk. What is it? It's like flavored with oil, essential like oil? Citrus things or something. And every, everything that has citrus es- yeah, in it has essence, pesticides though? in it, I guess. I don't know. So it's like, I think I'm drinking 12 cans of water. But really, I'm drinking 12 cans of water with a little pesticide in it. Big you, deal. You got to get it somewhere. BFD. <laughs> you got to get your pesticides somewhere. Yeah. Can I get a LaCroix out here? I got a craving. Like, I, I just, I, I'm addicted to LaCroix. What oh. flavors do you like it? I, I like You're them all. Noshing on that lime. Yeah, I mean, I like lime. Them all. I don't want, I don't want to pick a, a favorite flavor of LaCroix because I'm afraid then I'll be like, oh, berry, you know? <laughs> Woo! Yeah. Passion, passion fruit. fruit. Man, what even is a passion fruit? It's me. <laughs> oh no, memory sprite. He checked his notes. <laughs> <laughs> Those notes, the notes came in handy. Mm-mm. Feral hogs. Feral hogs. I, I like when uh, environmentally there's, there's a, a pest that was brought in by accident, like. Uh, like yeah, the Spanish brought in like hogs or like or, 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 <laughs> uh, and, the, and, and, and and they terrorize the countryside. They go, oh, what you do is you bring in a bunch of snakes, right. and, and the snakes uh, go fucking crazy and start killing everything. And then yeah. you go, oh, you, you know what you need, condors. <laughs> and then then the condors are supposed to kill the snakes, but the condors sleep at night when it's the fun. snakes are out killing everybody. And like like and, and then you have to go, then you have to get a bunch of hunters to go kill the condors because they're eating every fucking everything else. Yeah, I, I like when people just don't think ahead and everything's just gone to shit. I like that. Yeah, I love that. Like, like uh, what's the one like there, like in Australia or New Zealand and cane, cane toads? Cane toads. toads, yeah. And then, then then they brought in like a marsupial, like like a, like a fucking something to to go eat them. But like no, but they're nocturnal. So while while one's asleep, the other one's awake. Like, like they, they, now yeah. everything's fucked. Can you I imagine mean, th- what th- it then takes? Then you got to bring in Richard Attenborough. 
everything's fucked now in Australia. <laughs> Imagine what it takes to to destabilize the Australian biosphere. <laughs> like, like where 70% yeah. of everything is a poison spider. Also, uh, they don't even know what a knife is. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, some people do, but... Mostly. I would think you could introduce anything from the world to the Australian biosphere and it would bounce off like a ping pong ball. <laughs> Be like, oh, no, I can't. There's poison spiders here. Blee. <laughs> Like, it's I, like, 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 but no, some, some fucking toad like is wreaking havoc on. I think it's like the opposite, where they have they have several problems caused by several invasive species, and it's like every one of those just really hit the ground running. And now because like, like the Galapagos, like they're like a macro Galapagos, where it's like they're so isolated that they have key and tumbler kind of like yeah, exactly. uh, evolution going. Marsupials, uh, case in point, yeah. the fucking giant rat. With human biceps that like <laughs> knock on your patio door. God damn those YouTube videos. Yeah, that's cr- Oi, get get the fuck out of here. Get out of here. Get the fuck out. What the fuck? <laughs> what? <Whoa, laughs> ah! It's like, it's, that the a, fucking like seven foot fucking rat monsters uh, that are just like banging on their guts. There's like, if you type it into YouTube, there's just like seven videos and it's just like everyone just reacts the same way. They're like, ah, you again. Get the fuck out of here. Get out of here. I'm sick and tired of you. Yeah. Like, you're that's, sick and tired of fucking Pennywise? Like, uh, 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 that's ah! fucking crazy. You get this guy's got spiders that crawl up the wall with Man. birds in their mouths. It, 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 it's unfair dinkum. <laughs> was that, Unfair dinkum. that was in your notes. A oh, loik that I, hit might still got it. You still got it. It's nine eleven. It's nine eleven. We're burning Fantastic. through this episode. Uh, if if I could, you know what, Spencer? You know what? These colors do run. Whoa, man! Kangaroos what? look like fucking <laughs> werewolves. I always forget. <laughs> <laughs> New rule. Forget it. Let's <laughs> forget. <laughs> Spencer, <laughs> without character sheets, without anything, let's play D and D, and you're gonna have to walk us through it and give us. A, you, you're gonna be freestyling because you, you don't have a you don't have a dungeon chart. On I don't your. have a dungeon. I might have some fo- notes on my phone. Ooh, that might be some relevant stuff. Would you guys be down for a little uh, freestyle D and D? Because we're, we're, we're running short on time. The shot clock is ticking on Harmontown right now. I think, I think it's going to be our few opportunities to play a little D&D. Um, I'll, t- I'll tee up some, uh, some Spencer music. If Wait, I hold on. I might be able to play, play something on your jack. Can I do that? That's what she said. What? <laughs> yeah, do, do, you, do you need my jack? I have, I have a, a recap song. Wait, you can play it? Oh shit! We could play. We have the technology to play a recap of our last session. Oh. Well, allegedly, I, I just said that, and now it's going to shit the bed. <laughs> I'm drawing oh, a little guy on my galaxy note. <laughs> Mobile pork units. That's not right. No, it's not right. My, nope. my, Yo. my, fo- my phone hasn't updated. This I is got all the D and D on the recap. Who hit who with a sword plus ten? Who's going for a bag of holding again? D and D, D and D. Who's going down to the dungeon tonight? Who saw a dragon? Who's looking for a fight? Dan, D&D. what's your character's name? Brolin. What's my character's name? Chad. Oh yeah. Thank you. D and D pile of gold. Pile of gold. I got my sword and it's got two barrels. And a trigger, Woody Harrelson is coming up in me. Double tap zombie land two. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, I guess I agree, we. I, agree I guess we should bring out. Uh, we should bring out Steve Levy's Diarrhea Junior, shouldn't we? Steve Levy. Yeah, we what up, Levy? How's 
a good one. You got the same color shirt. Oh, damn. Is that me? Could be. <laughs> really could. I could work on Venice ha- Beach. Ha- how's this? What do you guys think about this Jew fro I got going on? You didn't. You haven't really made any comments about it. It's really unruly. I wish I was Jewish so I could just say Jew, Jew, Jew all the time. I just want to say everything. Jew, I'm a Jew. It sounds so dirty. It's not really froey though. It, it, it's just. It's just bushy. It's not like you're not froey. You, you, Give me just... some of that Jew food, mom. I don't. What's your favorite Jew food, Steve? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, do you like a latka? What do you yeah, like? Yeah, yeah, like a like a latka and applesauce, like a nice, <laughs> uh, you know, pastrami corned beef sandwich. Your Jufro is kind of like uh, it's molded. Like, uh, it's not, it's are not, you are you trying to do something with it? I, no, I just think it's wavy. It has a mind of its own. It's wavy and thick. It's, I, I don't think it's, you, you're froing out. Are you just gonna? It can't. It well, tomorrow morning it will be. I think you need to tease it and. Oh, I'm wrong. Yeah, it's fucking. I think it's nervous. <laughs> if you're not doing, if you're not like pressing it in like a helmet uh, shape in that the morning, then, then what you have is hair that's like been trained for thirty years to like be ashamed of itself for living free, and so it's like trying to make. It's like don't cut me. I can wear a helmet all day. Take it off. Hour later, this. Well, that's what I'm. That, I can't do. That's what I'm saying. I'm saying it's like your hair. It looks kind of molded, like a, like a Play-Doh like uh, like thing. It's like not like uh, uh, Matt Stone, you know, right? Yeah, like, yeah. Like 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 go like just like perfect free. the same way every day. Like a poofy. This will look different tomorrow. It could be parted. You can see like my scalp. Maybe you should let it keep going so it can like get to, get its spirit back. So it's not like Clark Kent, like with half a no, cape yeah. on. I see you just you, you let it really just go, and you, like you be like uh, Leo Sayer or Gabe Kaplan, you just yeah. get a big ass. Let it start dreading up. <laughs> yes, that's a Leo Sayer reference. Thank you. Nobody. How does that? How does that? How do dreadlocks work? How do How do you get dreadlocks? I don't know. Isn't it? Is there a technique, or is it just like a natural thing that happens? If, it's it, a technique. You put mud and stuff. I, so I, I have a photo of me with dreadlocks in high school where I, I'm just a white dude with dreadlocks, and that's not cool. Well, okay, so then you know how you get. How do you, how do, do, you it? do it? Uh, salt water, like I was uh, like a bodyboarder, and so just sand and salt and neglect. So it just happened naturally. Yeah, but also like I, when my hair gets long, I have nervous energy, so I, I, I bite my nails, but also like I'm constantly twisting my hair when it gets long. Okay. So when it's got salt and sand in it, it just wants to kind of knot up a little, you know. Okay. But it's so, so it's something you kind of halfway you're sort of like I think I'll do this now like you're like I'm doing it's this just, anyway and then you just did this a lot. Don't do it. I didn't say I was gonna do it. I was just curious about how it works. Are we uh, actually? Fuck it, no, Dan, do it. Get dreadlocks. <laughs> what if what if what if that was your weird midlife crisis where you just said fuck it? I got one dread. I, got, I probably got six months left. For dreadlocks being possible, I guess I, that would be a practical yeah. thing to do. Also, your midlife crisis, what are you going to be, a fucking hundred? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. okay. You, you, you could do it. But not, uh, your, your midlife <laughs> crisis choices have to start, like, right now. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but dreadlocks would be fun for you. Yeah. You're, you're, you're in the pool all the time? You have a workout thing on your uh, Instagram? Got a complicated relationship with my hair because it's, 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 it's going away, and I'm like, I never liked you. But like, like, come back. <laughs> Wait, are, are you are you are you getting bald or just just kind of gradually oh, yeah, receding? No, I'm definitely like it's that's all going away. Yeah. Do you have the male pattern thing on the back? Or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But a beautiful beard. Thank you. Your beard is luscious. Yeah. It's like it's like, a, like the like the rivers of the Orinoco. Yeah. <laughs> Beards are just pubic hair in your face. I mean, it's not like, oh, he grew. He can grow a beard. Well, yeah, he's dying. You know. I can't grow a beard. I, I've never had a good beard. I, 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 I have facial hair, but it's patchy, and like I look like Johnny Depp on a bad weekend. Are we actually playing D&D? Nah. Spencer, what you got? Uh, uh, do we have that song? We play it. Or it's not a song, but it is. You yeah, guys go. ready? Here we go, Zach. The town of... P- you found the town of Podos Donos. 
the farming village. There's about, it's not much of a farming village. There's like six farms and there's only, there's only a handful of people. You haven't really met them. You just kind of, you rolled up on a farm. You killed a fucking ghost that was haunting the farm. And then you're like, well, I'm going to, I'm going to take this farm now. Potato basket. Does this seem kind of diminishing? Like we used to be fighters and you had like ambitions. Look me in the eye and say that you're happy right now. I can't tell you that. There's one rival farmer, ketamine. Can't go. All right. We should make friends with her and learn to farm better. Okay. We hear a knock at the door? Yeah. It's a raccoon man. Glad you're settling in. Uh, you do owe a lot of money for this property. I hear Did, a fire. That tree is on fire. And arguing about that wraith is a is a woman who looks like a druid, and she's yelling at a small mole. I uh, I go, hey, uh, what, what's, what's, what's the beef? You want to take care of this mole, get him off my back. Catch All right. Him. Well, I think I can settle this. This is our property. The mole's pissed and leaves. Do you know about the church of Corlac? I'm a worshiper. I want to, like, I'll do anything other than just fucking grow a potato. Holy me. Shoomers. <laughs> Why do we become farmers? We should become musicians. I'm willing to give that a try. We'll go down to the town and we'll, we'll see if there's music jobs. That's a story. We're, we're a yeah. team again. I'm so inspired. Schumer. <laughs> Amy Schumer. Well, that, that didn't help me at all. <laughs> it jo- no, it jo- it jo- I, I'm more some... confused than I was before that play. <laughs> it jogs it jog some memories for me. I, uh, we were, fucking, we were living me... on a potato farm. I, I, I think I had a stroke. And we were about to, <laughs> we were going to go to town and see if there were any music jobs. Yeah. Now imagine what it would have been like to hear that like the week after you did those events, huh? <laughs> Yeah. Wouldn't that be crazy? <laughs> yeah, it would make me mad. Yeah. Okay. I examine my surroundings. <laughs> You're in the farmhouse, the farmhouse where you live. You were out farming. Oh, boy. You didn't like it. You hated it especially, Jeff. Everyone else was kind of fine with it. Yeah, but I, I want to go uh, get into adventures. Yeah. I, uh... You guys talked about how you might want to just become a music band and right. try and do that for money. Do uh, you guys want to become a music band for money? Like troubadours? <laughs> is, is, is there, are, are we near a town? You're in a town. You uh, belong to a town. I, uh, I, I walk into the, the lo- is there like a local tavern that might host musical events? There's a local tavern. Okay, I, I go into that musical tavern. All right, you do that. Are you guys doing that too? Uh, I'm going to putter around the kitchen for a, a little bit. How much money do we have? Uh, none. Functionally, none. Maybe like we have no two hundred gold or something. Are our potatoes worth anything? You haven't sold them yet. Oh, and the harvest isn't complete. You just started to get some. Uh-huh. We've been eating them. Right. Yeah. They're too good not to. We're so good at it. I I, I go in. What, what's the tavern called, Spencer? The uh, the Creaky Grieve. I go to the Creaky Grieve, and uh, I ask for the manager. You, you see the tavern keeper. His name's Cool Dennis. <laughs> oh, shit. I, it's coming back to me now. Yeah, you last saw him at a different tavern. Yes. Uh, hey, hey, Cool Dennis, um, my friends and I are working up kind of a, a, kind of a new musical act. Uh, you guys have like an open mic night or an a, a open spot? Oh, yeah. We got this little stage up here. People can throw small denominations of coins, you know, oh, at you. Okay, we're, we're, we're pretty... We're pretty thin on the coin, so we, we could maybe use that money. What do you play? Uh, I play tambourine, and uh, so does everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, it's the first all-tambourine trio. <laughs> well, you know... Is that, and, uh, it's, it's, we, it, we only have one tambourine, <laughs> so we just pass... <laughs> we, <laughs> We, oh. we, we pass it around. <laughs> it was sounding cool until that part. <laughs> and it's like, oh, that is kind of cool. Like, oh, but then it's like, no, it's a shared chamber. Yes. We're just lowly, <laughs> out of our luck, uh, wayward adventurers uh, that are trying to farm potatoes. But we got the tambourine. But I got to tell you, uh, it's the harmonies, which is the real uh, uh, show grabber. Sure. Well, I'm no talent scout. Uh, if you want to 
you know, grab whatever instruments and come in tonight. That sounds like a thing you could do. Okay. What, uh, go ahead. I, I, I'm, I'm at the house. What time is it? Let's say it's 11 a.m., the day after the events of the last episode we played. Okay. I'm going to... Uh, is Diarrhea Jr. at the house? Yeah, unless he leaves. I'm still at the house. Holy. Di- Diarrhea... Yes. Let's head out of town and see. Uh, meet up with Chad. Um, I just want to like lock down the farm. Uh, make sure we're not leaving any animals uh, open. <laughs> <laughs> we should sew up those animals. <laughs> All right. Well, you don't have to. I'm a new, a new at farming. This. We, we did harvest to... that cow for meat. No, you didn't. We didn't. <laughs> I mean the pens and the barns yeah, and yeah. shit. Let's, uh, let's close it up. Yeah, just bumper crop of sarcasm. <laughs> All right, I've shuttered the kitchen. Uh, did you check the corral? I, uh, yeah. Pen? Every, everyone's good. Gate. Everything's locked up. The potatoes are all tucked in. All right. <laughs> let's head down to, the, to town. Let's, let's head on down. Should we take horses? <gasps> yeah. <laughs> I love horses. Do we own horses? I think you have one horse from the past. Why don't you take the horse? No, no, we could ride it together. Okay. I'm pretty light. All right. I'll get on the back. Okay. We get on the horse, and we ride to town. You get on the horse. Oh, it doesn't like that. What? It starts bucking under your legs. (laughs) Well, uh, is it because there's two of us? It's because you rolled low. <laughs> uh, I'll get off. I'll get off, too. <laughs> we both get off. I start stroking the horse's head, and, and, and I'm like, hey, man, it's us. Don't, don't, even, don't even trip. We, we love you. We lo- we're horse people. It's us, the people that sit on you all the time. Yeah. <laughs> we're your, we're, your, get, we're your friends. Don't, we're don't we're even, never going to go away. Don't pay attention to the low rolls. Think we're, about those high rolls, we're gonna bro. We're going to sit on you for the rest of your life. We love, <laughs> we love you. Here's a, here's a carrot. Can I give it a carrot? Uh, where did you get a carrot? <sighs> Can I give it a potato? Yeah, you could give it a potato. I gave it a, pota- a potato. All right, it loves it. It calms down. You like, you like that potato? Yeah, you fucking like that potato? You like that? Yeah. You like that potato, you <laughs> fucking horse? Piece of shit. <laughs> fucking thought I loved horses, and then you just fucking turn on me? I hope you like that fucking potato. It's the last one you're going to fucking get. God damn. Whoa. All right, now we double mount that horse yeah. again. I'm okay. going gonna, gonna to face backwards. <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah. In case someone comes up on our six. Makes sense. Yeah, but you get on the back. horse. It's good. It's great. Oh. All right, we ride to town, baby. All right, you go to town. Um, you see the tavern that Jeff walked into, and you know he went in. You also see, uh, what's her name, Kagura. She was the elf, uh, I guess she was an elf, um, from the night before. And she's like, hey, what's up? Hey, Kagura. That's a cool way to ride a horse. Yeah. Should, should, in case should, we, should we get six. someone from the audience to play Kagura? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Should okay. we get someone from the audience to play someone else? Uh, no. Go ahead. <laughs> I mean, we can. I, I'm fine. I like the I like the area. <laughs> you know. Uh, hey, I like the die area. Is Kagura the girl right. that was oh. fighting the the wi- the, the wraith the, yeah. the, the, with the thing in the yard? Hey, uh, that was some real spooky stuff you had going on there. Oh yeah, that's just you know my job. I'm a druid. We keep the balance. That I, thing was out of balance. Yeah, I used to adventure. Damn. Well, then I, then I took an arrow in the knee. It's <laughs> <laughs> a little video game reference. <laughs> what game is it a reference to? Uh, o- Oblivion. Oh, okay. Elder Scrolls, two, three, four. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys. Hey. <laughs> Hey! Oh, oh, diarrhea and uh... Carlos. Carlos, which is not a uh, Freaks and Geeks reference. Carlos, um, I, I I got us a gig on Thursday nights uh, playing some music for some uh, for some coin. Oh, nice! Yeah. Did they say they would pay? 
or is but, it yeah, open that, mic? Uh, people, uh, I guess the offering is that they would throw money at us. Like, oh. and the, and the, we get to and keep part of the okay. We, tips. we get to cre- keep whatever they throw right. on the table. I mean, to be quite honest, I kind of miss the adventuring, and I kind of miss the uh, the the swashbuckling and the daring do. You guys play instruments. Who are you? Uh, Kagura. Oh, Kagura. I don't have a character. Oh, uh, yeah, we, we share a tambourine. You do? You should get your own instruments. Then you could, like, be masters of the craft. Mm. Bards. But do you know someone that has instruments? I know someone who can make wood into magical shapes. What? It's me. What? You're a bard? I'm a druid. Oh. I, can, I can craft wood. I can, I can like, tell this a seedling to, like, turn into a fucking loot. Really? Oh yeah. I uh, uh, no, no. Bullshit. I I take a seedling. I, f- I find a seedling on the ground. And I go turn this into a loot. Well, that won't work. What you just said? You could do that. I can do that. But what? I rolled. She's low? not easily manipulated. That's not the. That's not the right kind of seedling. Uh, I can do it for you, but I don't just you know do my magic powers for free. What? What? I mean, we're, we're kind of low on the dough right you now. You can't turn potatoes into anything, can you? I oh you then, want to believe what I could turn potatoes into? <laughs> if you turn potatoes into an, a band's worth of instruments, one hundred percent of your overhead is covered. Mm-hmm. That's for sure. <laughs> and plus, we can pay you in potatoes <laughs> <laughs> on top of your expenses. Uh, DJ, uh, l- lay some potatoes on Kagura and uh, let's, let's let's get some, let's get some get of those horse potatoes. Take out these f- potatoes. <laughs> Whoa! Look at these. Yeah. Look at those. Mm-hmm. They're we, all knobbly. Well, we, okay, we're just learning. We made them ourselves. Yeah. Okay, what do you want these to be turned into? I uh, want a doghouse base. Okay. Is uh loot? Okay. <laughs> uh ocarina. Now that that I don't even need to use magic. What? Ooh. You just know how to make them? Yeah, you just carve holes in a potato. <laughs> <laughs> that is what it is. A sweet potato. I like to think that I made my instrument. So, yeah, yeah. Potato Ocarina. Let's do it. Okay. Potato but... Ocarina. <laughs> I... <laughs> but you guys, you got to do me a favor first. You oh, know, I, I don't just like do, right. do spells for no one. No. Nope. Uh, what no, kind of favor are we talking? No quid pro quo. Well, <laughs> as you know, as you may already know, I live in a tree. Right. And the tree is recently besieged by monsters. <laughs> What yeah. kind of monsters? Feral hogs. Uh, oh, um, damn. But these are no ordinary feral hogs. They're extraordinary. In what way? They're harder to kill, and they do crazy stuff that you wouldn't expect a feral hog to do. So what do you want us to do? Kill them. Uh, are we carrying uh, any, any any of our weapons? No, those have been locked away in the closets of your farmhouse because mm-hmm. you don't use them for farming. Can you turn potatoes into weapons? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can. <laughs> How much does that cost? Uh, I'll get, if you use them primarily for the quest, I could do those. I could do those right now. I could do you for uh, hand grenades. But, but <laughs> what? <laughs> You could what? turn potatoes into hand grenades? Yeah, do you ever bake a potato without poking holes in it? <laughs> it's kind of like that. <laughs> but do, do I still have my native druid uh, fire uh, abilities? Yeah, or? yeah, you have uh, okay. produce flame and like uh, a okay, scorching so I take a potato and I use my, fu- uh, my, uh, my fire to bake a potato. You do that. Oh, boy, it looks so delicious. <laughs> and Did it only takes holes? one hour. That's what magic does for you. Okay. Uh, are you trying to prove that we don't need her? Is that what we... I mean, I, I'm just trying to be active. <laughs> 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 wow. This guy can't keep it together. She's <laughs> like, I can make you a potato and grenade. Okay. And you're Fuck, like, okay, I, cool. I, I could bake a potato. It's like baking a potato, and you're like, I'd take a potato and bake it. Like, you're all over the place. <laughs> I just want to be... This in, guy needs I, to get his energy out on those boars. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. Well, this is what we got to do. Here we go. All right, so so, uh, Karaka, um, uh, what's her name? Kagura. Kagura, uh, make us some potato grenades. 
All right. Well, I'll, we, I'll come back in an hour for the one that I'm baking. <laughs> and then uh, but, but let, let, let's go out there and kick a little uh, uh, feral hog dick. <laughs> All right. I'll meet you by the tree. <laughs> and here's a map I'm drawing on the dirt to show you where it is. Is our house on the way? Because we could John Wick up a little bit, you know? Yeah, we could. could break break open those cabinets. <laughs> is our... Put on those outfits. Yeah, they're all buried in the you floor. Know, they messed with the wrong guy. How, how far away is our crib? It's pretty close. Okay, let, let's go uh, Let's go. Uh, strap up and uh, get our weapons, and, and, and uh, we'll meet you back at the tree, Kagura, and uh, potato grenades and all, and we're going to have our own weapons ready to rock. That sounds good. Okay. Thanks for the map. Oh, yeah. She seems more powerful than us. Why couldn't she take care of her own hogs? <laughs> Do you think she feels sorry for us? Is this like a thing like 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 give a homeless guy a job? I think know? she's just lazy. Uh, you don't think she like sees us as self esteem risks? Like 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 she's like oh geez these guys are. Yeah, I th- I think she sees us as disposable. Like why not just use right. hired labor to go out and d- do some dirty work? Well, uh, but let's show her what we're made of because we're not potato farmers. That was never us. We're potato we, musicians. Our, our heart was never in that. <laughs> yeah. We're tambourine players. And now we're going to go show her what's the fucking real deal. We're going to we're gonna grab oh, sorry, our sorry. weapons. Oh, am I keeping you up, <laughs> Carlos? <laughs> Do you need a nap? <laughs> uh, it is true. I had to... Uh, we had to have, we had a screening at uh, the Rick and Morty offices. It's a real emotional depleter. I forgot my Adderall this morning. I'm really, really ready to take a nap. Hey, di- diarrhea. Uh, what's up with Carlos? He's fucking. He, he's, he's talking gibberish. He's talking oh, sorry, nonsense. Yeah. What's, do you think what, he, what's a Rick he, and Morty? Are they his old partners that he lost? Adderall? <laughs> what, I, what, what, Might what be his f- old flame. It could be. All right, uh, we walk back to the <laughs> Ghostbusters firehouse that is our potato farm. I, I forget what my primary weapon is, Spencer. Do you, do you recall? I think you usually just shoot fire. Okay. Spencer, I'm... I punch holes in the floorboards with my fists. Holy shit. I can see your resolve. Someone's talking about a Baba Yaga somewhere. <laughs> Man, I just watched John Wick 3. That movie is good. I liked it. Really? I haven't seen it. My yet. friend didn't like it, but I've, I liked nev- it. I've never seen any John Wicks. The oh. first one's good. The second You're one's lost. less good. Third one's good. Third one's good. Really? What, I, what, what's the premise? What, what is a John Wick? What, what, is, what does he do? Well, they, he tries to get out, but they keep pulling him back in. Right. <laughs> <laughs> the first one introduces you to the idea that there's a John Wick, and the second one is like. Of course, there's lots of John Wicks. And like John Wick, has to, there's like hotels where you can stay if is you're a, spy, a John Wick. Is he a Wick. spy? Is he a superpower? He's like, an assassin. There's, assassin. A, there's a whole like, it's just, it's just sort of like a there's, a, there's an eighth grade boy like realm to the universe where everyone's an assassin. Your waiter's an assassin. The people he's waiting on are assassins. They only don't assassinate each other because no one's paying them to. And there's some code where you're staying at the Waldorf Astoria and you're not allowed to assassinate. John Wick does anyway because he really wants someone dead and then uh, elsewhere in Jen is like did you realize what you've done god damn it if we do a John Wick 3 you're gonna fight the world and then everyone in New York like looks at him and they're all like assassins <laughs> and I swear to god that's how John Wick 2 ends with John Wick like 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 uh, elsewhere engine from, from from Ian McShane it, it go, goes uh, he go, he goes I'll give you a 10 second head start and like, and then John Wick starts like walking, and the like the fi- like like as the credits are gonna start rolling, it's like this music is swelling as Keanu Reeves is walking past everyone in New York, and there's like a guy in a cowboy hat with an eye patch, like looking at him and talking into his cuff, and then there's like an old woman with a dog, and the dog's eyes roll back, and two guns come out, and it's like, <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it's, like it, it's like this music is building, like oh wow. It's like John Wick 3 is either never gonna get shot or that movie is gonna be fucking insane. Like, because the second one was, I wanna use the word retarded, but like, yeah, I, I really, uh, I don't know. Like, I'd, I honestly think retarded people you, would be you, like, you're, that's fine. 
Well, they'd be. They'd like, be like, I don't, because I don't know how, what other word, like, applies. And my sister's retarded, so. <laughs> like, and she, I think if she saw John Wick, she'd be like, yeah, that's <laughs> retarded. I really do. Because at one point, he goes to a guy named the Somalier, who, you, you, you get your weapons from this guy. A Somalier? His, yeah. His, his gimmick is, he, he talks about weapons like he's a waiter. Um, like, so he goes like, would you like something like something to go with the fish? But he's like holding a gun. <laughs> and, 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 but, but here's the crazy thing. There's no one else around, and there's nothing but guns everywhere. So there's no point in using a code. And just, then he says, "It's just like, a guy you go to, and you just refer to everything." It was like he takes out a he goes, oh, "How about some pineapple for yeah. dessert?" And it's like a hand grenade. I'm like, "Wait, why is he making this harder than it has to but be?" But it's it, it goes both ways because he's like, "I'm gonna need something for an after dinner jacket or something," and then he pulls out a gun and he's like, "This is a Glock P22 or whatever." <laughs> it's like you said, you say what type of gun this is, and then you go back into a weird uh, like assassin creed and everybody pays each other with like these weird sand dollars from ancient g- 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 gaelic like that. stonehenge that have needles in them and you like close oh, them yeah. on your palms so you have got a little john wick blood in a sundial and that means that you work for someone and so th- these are good movies or bad movies I like movies? the first well did you like the first one I like the f- I I like the first one as much as everybody else did and I I honestly I watched the second one by myself and I was like, look, at least this movie ain't lying to itself. Yeah. I watched the first one, and I was like, this is, like, maybe a perfect movie. Like, this is so good. And then the second one, I was like, this is not what I wanted. I watched them back-to-back, and it was well, a real bummer. I'm going to be on a lot of uh, planes coming up, and I sh- should I watch number one? Yes. And I'd say watch num- all of them. And skip number two? Or do I it almost feel like you'll you like number... Watch it. I, like, I, I kind of like number two more than number one. I feel like number one took itself a little too seriously, given what all it was was just Keanu Reeves shooting a million people in the head. Yeah. And, like, this Walking Dead CG blood coming out. And, like, I, I was like, 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 the whole movie is just like they 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 do him wrong in the beginning cuz they don't know he's John Wick and then like the only threshold is that the bad guy in the movie the, that's older is, says to his son you did what to who do you know who this guy is he's John Wick we used to call him the wick you know why he's never lit but once he is, the no mosquitoes come around. <laughs> Whatever. But so, it's like, so, so his that, son's like, I don't fucking care. I'm on cocaine. I don't care. Let him come. And he's like, you won't see him coming. Uh, and then there's no conflict. The rest of the movie is just Keanu Reeves going from fucking place to place. It's just like, people are like, hey, that's far enough. Let me frisk you. Okay. And then, and then, and then, like the last guy of like a hundred guys in that warehouse is like, "Where is the next building full of people?" And he's like, "It's, it's a block away. It's, it's a bathhouse. It's a bathhouse." And he's like, "Thanks." Shoots him in the head, what? and then he cuts to like a, a Greek guy going like, "I'm telling you, anyways, to continue my conversation." You don't know who this guy is. And then it cuts to fucking bathhouse. I swear, that's the whole fucking movie. So the whole whole, whole movie is act two? Yes. And then and then and then and then like the the, the bad guy is just like his dad yelled at him enough where he he gets it. That that's the other thing, is like he's not like Joaquin Phoenix in Gladiator where he's like, fuck you, old man. I'll deal with you know, like I'm he's like the guy the kid is like Okay, it sounds like I fucked up. Also, the dad sounds like John Wick's up. like really hard to kill, and he's gonna come kill me. And so the kid just like sits in a fucking ninth warehouse, and he's just like there waiting. What what, what are the stakes? Like, like how, how do you take John Wick down? Or you or kill you, him? You I'm, just don't. You don't. He, he just, obviously, you shoots, don't. He shoots, a, shoots you in the head, and that's, yeah, that's he just it. shoots everyone in the head. And then John Wick. So that's why I like John Wick two a little better because at least it's like. It, the movie seems to agree a little bit more that everything is like, as I said, I'll, I won't keep using the word. It starts with an R, but like, I, it, it, it just seems like the, the like the, the movie and you are on the same page for John Wick too, where it's like, eh, eh it beats government work. <laughs> 
Right. I, I, w- watching the movie. You but, know, like, but, like, like yeah, no, you know, you know, you just like, what, what if I'm on a plane and I, I want to just start with number three? Is that a bad idea? I, 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 I think, I think, so. I think it's a great idea. I, I mean, you could do it, but I think it's, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> what, he does a lot of stuff that doesn't quite make sense if you don't know what's happening. I, I I asked the the, the writer's assistant and uh, 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 Rick and Morty when a, a couple months ago, uh, I he he said I, I saw John Wick three and I said so they do they make good on the promises of John John Wick two or this is just like the whole world's an assassin and he's like yeah I I don't know who makes their food. <laughs> <laughs> right, which is yeah. what I wanted to hear. Yeah. Is, 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 <laughs> you can't get an Uber, like it, 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 it's just everyone's. Yeah. Oh, you can get an Uber, but it'll be the Uber. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I make a five stars. <laughs> 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 well, I recommend you drop me off before my destination. <laughs> oh, clever. <laughs> <laughs> What was the story, uh, and stop me if I told it before, about uh, Peter O'Toole's being interviewed and he had done a, done a film with Keanu Reeves? And uh, and someone, had, uh, the interviewer said, like, what was it like working with them? And he goes, well, Keanu. <laughs> and, and, and the interviewer goes, it's Keanu. And he goes, yes, but one gets the idea. <laughs> 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 what? <laughs> like, like I, I don't care how you say it. What? <laughs> Peter O'Toole. <laughs> one gets the idea. Yes, All right. but one gets the idea. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> That's so awesomely dismissive. That's great. Uh-oh. All right, so... Are we back at the farm? I mean... <laughs> Oh, yeah. yeah, sure. So that was so, like plenty we, of we, talking we, on the uh, way. Uh, uh, can, like, can we retrieve our weapons now? We're back at the crib, right? Yeah. Oh, wait, I punched through you the You punch floor. open the floorboards. The floor There's open. weapons. Can we do the gag where he's punch, he punches through the floor and it's like all the music's mounting and then in, in, the, in the background of the shot, I'm opening a cabinet and that's all. And then I hand him <laughs> his stuff. <laughs> well, then what's in the floorboards? Right, that's the joke. No, I know. What oh. is? Oh, it just... It's my... It's my uh, uh, so Church of the Silver Flame uh, chain mail. Oh, well, yeah, okay. Well, then that's Great. not funny. Yeah. <laughs> don't I, don't, I, don't I have like a staff, and like, a, like a, a shillelagh kind of a... Yeah, I think you got a shillelagh. Yeah, I, and, and that casts magical. A Donna yeah, shillelagh. I, I, I just get that and uh, whatever my knapsack holds in terms of, you know, food and tools and whatnot. Yep. You get those. You might have a knife too, but yeah, you usually just shoot fire. I think. Yeah. I guess the joke. One version of the joke. I'm not really a joke writer, but uh, <laughs> I mean, like he's pe- he punches through the floor. He just there's all this punching through the floor, and the music suggests that there's going to be something under there. And then I and then I I open a cabinet and I hand him a bundle of his stuff, and he looks at it and he's like, um, I thought I thought you were going to put it under the floorboards, and I'm like, why why would I do that? <laughs> Like, like, what a horrible way to here's, store things. Here's, here's another, another pitch. Well, like, while he's punching holes in the floor, and you, you, Carlos, and I don't understand why he's doing that. We get our weapons out, and including his, right? That, that we keep them in our weapon cabinet, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. And and then we walk over to him, and we hand him wood and tools to repair the floor. Right. <laughs> That he broke for no reason. Yeah. What if? What if that's it will what's come under, out of our security deposit? What if that's what's that's under what's the under, floorboards? Yeah. He pulls like hammers and nails in all these planks. <laughs> 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 he puts them back. <laughs> that's way better he, than he, what. He reaches yeah. in and pulls out. Wait. He goes. Okay. Here's here's here here it is. This is a little lateral, but like he he <laughs> he, he punches through the floorboards. So, and then so far, he, it's been so straightforward. While he's doing it, like. <laughs> I open up the cabinet and I pull out like three bundles of stuff and the third bundle I put in front of him and he's like he's just finished like punching through the, the it took a while to break through and as he finishes I put the his stuff in front of him he goes what's that I go it's your stuff and he goes what's down here and he reaches down and pulls up um, floorboards lumber and yeah, nails yeah, yeah. okay and I go, uh, right. you fucking stuff that you're gonna use to <laughs> fix the Floor. Yeah. Okay. I, I think I think we got that joke locked down. This one. 
<laughs> what, what do you? I don't know. What do you guys think? I think you saved the picture. <laughs> this one's way worse, but just to say it, like mm. he he opens up he opens up the floor and he pulls out a box and there's all these like golden assassin coins in it. And then you you put down the weapons and then Steve like puts the coin in like a quarter machine and bubble gum comes out and he just chews it. And it's like he was just doing that. He was right. just trying to get some gum. I said it was worse, <laughs> but I think it's better than yours. Or like he Wait. punches the floor, and then he, what he pulls out is a book that says like uh, st- dealing with stress, or, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, anger management. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> Wait, don't, don't how to we, wrap your don't, hands? Don't we have uh, uh, cows to kill? Or what, what are we doing? <laughs> yeah, pigs, pigs, hogs. All right, be- he punches through the floor, and then he pulls out a he he. Uh, he pulls out a book that says anger management right. and he goes like and, and, <laughs> and, and we pull out a book from the cabinet that says carpentry and we're like <laughs> <laughs> and he's like <laughs> <laughs> but also down there there's a book that says how to kill uh, feral hogs oh yeah. That, yeah that we didn't know was there we go okay let's, let's read that Ooh. on our way back to the village and kill, <laughs> kill some feral hogs we're not going back to the village, right? The map, which is the map, take us. Uh, yeah, it's nearby the village, but it's. it's we're going to the right treehouse. All right, we're suiting up. I'm putting on my rope belt, uh, 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 my burlap robe, uh-huh. um, and my clerical uh, cudgel. Clerical uh, cudgel. I'm doing the uh, silver flame five pointed genuflect, um, and uh, doing the kind of our. Uh, all hail your glimmering majesty, may your oxygen rich flame uh, uh, burn eternally throughout the atmosphere. May you purify those with your heat that, that cannot be purified by shadow. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> I go down and explore the hole that Diarrhea Jr. made. There's lumber and nails and stuff. Down okay. There. <laughs> oh. I come back up. Oh, you do that. You're not laughing. Oh, no, you know, I, Why aren't you laughing? <laughs> Spencer up. <laughs> and you, what was down there? Wasn't it funny? <laughs> I, I, I do take, j- just because I, I have a spare pocket, I, I take a couple nails just in case. Because uh, a, a, any adventure that goes into a dangerous situation, if you get disarmed, you want to have something in your pocket that you, you could use as a weapon. You never know when you have to home alone. Exactly. I, I, might, I might have to Macaulay Culkin some... Uh, some Joe Pesci's. <laughs> and I'm like, hey, hey, let, those are for the joke. All right, well, uh, all right, yeah. the, jo- the, <laughs> the joke, joke, the joke, the joke landed. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the joke, I, I think we nailed that yeah. joke. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. There's a thing. <laughs> Maybe we should uh, maybe we should open the cellar and let all of these Cormac McCarthy the road uh, uh, cannibal uh, 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 people out of the basement. <laughs> it's these cannibal victims. It just sounded like I don't know. They're all like groaning. I just was imagining if we it was. Na- we already nailed the joke. Like we, have, like we have a we have a we have a pit of people <laughs> that are like amputees <laughs> down there that are like. The funny thing is, I didn't mean that pun. That was totally accidental. No. I, I did not intend that at all. All right, uh, back to the uh, to the to the people and the, the hogs. You do that. Wait, I wanted to. I, I I threw a couple lumbers in my bag. Okay, for later. Lumbers. And I'm suited up. I'm suited up like a like a fucking Avenger. You got your stuff in like two six foot long planks. Yeah, yeah. Let's fucking go. It's <laughs> good. All right. Off to the tree. Off to the tree. To kill some feral hogs. Well, I'll 50. bring the ha- He's brought nails and you're bringing... I'll bring him the, a hammer. Just wait till you see what I got planned for these fucking planks. Okay, so we're going back to... Uh, <laughs> so, K- Kagura? What's her name? Kagura. Kagura, her tree is being infested by ghostly feral hogs. Not ghostly, just feral. Just regular feral hogs. Oh, they're... Yeah, they're okay. extraordinary. All right. So you just get- like level one, huh, guys? Remember? Just like level one. Killing hogs. How for many a local hog skins villager. can we collect, you know? Yeah. Right. How about some hog toenails? This feels good. Uh, yeah. Okay. Wow. We arrive at the tree, I hope. Yeah, you get to the tree. It's in a clearing. Like there's there's not trees right nearby. It's kind of like standing alone, like 
creating its own space, and there's all these trees. You see tons of scratch marks on the tree uh, from, you know, pigs maybe. And uh, up in the top of the tree, you can see it goes up real high, and you can't see where Kagura is. But when you get there, a bunch of mouths appear on the tree, like around the perimeter, and they say, oh, you're here. What's up? Check oh. down there. There's the potato b b grenades. Oh, cool. There's four or five, whatever a, a, a I said. A bunch of what's up here? Uh, mouths on the on, on the, the tree, as if by magic, yeah, like a Harry magic. Potter kind uh, of thing, more it's or less. Mort Morden Kanan's uncanny intercom system. Gotcha. Magic mouth. I take a couple grenades, potato grenades. You do that. You take all of them. Oh I, boy, I took all of them. Careful. Let me know when you guys are ready. We're, uh, what? <laughs> what? Are you like gonna open the floodgates on us? I'm gonna I'm gonna do a pig call. Uh oh, yeah, oh. oh yeah, yeah. Uh, you're oh. like you're like Raiden. Are from you guys ready? Combat. I can't. Like oh, what, what, what's my that. spell, Spencer? Where I can just make my hands like balls of fire? There's produce flame, and then you have another that lets you throw three flames. And then you have another one that lets you uh, just shoot like a fire beam of I, some sort. I, I choose the uh, I, I I produce fire. You do that. You're producing two fires. Okay. You're holding fires like the human torch. Right. I'm ready. I have my sword out, ready to fight. He All right. Heavenly flame be silver among my reflective <laughs> the, the sins that we do and the, the beget us. Make the shadows perish in front of your holy light. May you purify the world as you purify my soul. May the silver flame burn eternally. We're ready. All right. Uh. The, the mouths on the, on the tree start oinking madly. How does They're it oinking. What does it sound like? Oink. Oink. <laughs> Oink. Oink! Like that. Okay. That, that tracks. Yeah. A bunch of pigs come charging through. Like, uh, not a bunch. The first wave of pigs. It says wave one. There's five pigs. I pull the pin on my first potato grenade, and I throw it toward the pigs. You do that. Oh, boy. What could happen? <laughs> yeah, what could happen? I got to roll. Cyber dice. Oh, boy. This is... It, it's a, it, they're digital dice, but they look like they can land cocked, which is insane to me. <laughs> cocked means it's between two sides. Gotcha. Um, yeah. All right. It hits all the pigs. Whoa! Um, I, I got to roll the I, damage I, I down. overreact. Splash damage. damage. <laughs> How many pigs were there? There were five pigs, and they each take 16 damage. Whoa. Fucking hell. These potato grenades. Yeah. <laughs> That should just about do them, right? That Wait. did those ones. Oh, man. Those yeah. pigs explode, and their blood sprays all over your bodies. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. You shower that, in but that it blood. burns like acid. Oh. Ow, but, oh, shit. Oh, oh. fuck. Is it because you're Jewish? It was Jewish? so hot at first, but now it's actually hot. <laughs> I'm burning. I, uh, uh, kosher, kosher a five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I cast a spilkus on punum. Meshuggah endus. Shenanigans. All right. You get covered Man. in, Wait, in so blood. Just, just DJ? Just DJ. And he, he, he got, takes he 13 got, damage from their by acid poisonous, blood. Poisonous Ow. blood. They got acid blood like aliens. Hey, why these pigs got acid blood? They're feral. Yeah. <laughs> I, uh, California. I, can I throw my fireballs? Yeah, but these ones are dead. But okay. wave I, two. I don't do that. Oh, wave two is coming. Yeah, you see three pigs coming. These are twice the size of the last pig. Fireball! All right. I don't think you have proper fireball. Okay, well, fire, fire I, I, throw, I throw some fires. Oh, you throw them. This is the craziest dice app I've ever had. <laughs> All right, you hit both of them. Yeah. And you do 14 damage. Yeah. Oh. Are they in uh, mobile pork units? <laughs> they are mobile pork units. <laughs> okay. Are they on fire? Uh, no, they just, their, their tough skin gets charred and it smells like bacon. Actually, they each take seven damage because you hit one fire at each of them. Um, and one of them doesn't get hit. But then the pigs, they kind of uh, rear up on two legs and you can see in their stomach there's a, a giant toothy maw and then they kind of bend over backwards all weird horror style. So the maw is like up like a, like a snapping mouth and they're kind of like, Twisted backwards like fuck? body horror shit, Fucking and they start lurching towards you. Pig. Shit. 
God damn it. We got, yeah. we got fucking we got 1985 Cro- The Thing pigs. We You're some, up, Carlos. Sh- we do got some do Cro- your best. Cro- Cronenberg cows. <laughs> Turn pigs. Or pigs. Yeah. That's not a thing. Uh, <laughs> okay, so we, how, how many are we looking at right now? Uh, three. Three. Three horror pigs. Three, three horror pigs. Three extraordinary pigs. And, and what, what's pigs. the uh, distance? What's the range that we're uh, between us? Oh, they're close now. They're 15 feet. All right. I cast a uh, righteous circle around my compatriots, b- buffing their combat skills and increasing their confidence. All right. <laughs> you, you consecrate but, the area. For, for, for our listeners who didn't see that, Dan just put his glasses on while he said that, like in, a, in a very nonchalant, kind of <laughs> groovy, professorial way. That happens. The pigs attack! They, God, fuck, they miss. They all miss. Why are you mad? Why are you on their side? <laughs> it's yeah. just sad when nothing happens, you know? Um, they bite at you with their big jaws, but I guess even though this is potentially their true form, they're not really agile, and you find it easy to dodge out of their snapping mouths. Mm. Damn, Carlos, I'm feeling so confident right now. I'm feeling really, really hot. I'm some hot diarrhea right now. <laughs> I'm so hot. <laughs> I pull out a, another potato grenade, I unpin it, and I attempt to throw it directly into the underbelly mouth. All right. Just full of confidence. Oh, boy. You miss. <laughs> you hit behind them, and they only take half damage, which is six. Okay. Uh, 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 <clears throat> whose turn is it right now? It could be your turn. Okay, I, I, I take out my shillelagh, and I shoot a fire bolt at, uh, at one of the pigs. All right. Which one? The one that has more damage or less? Uh, I think the, the, the strongest one. <laughs> All right. You missed. <laughs> this fucking thing. You start a fire. <laughs> Is it in the field? No, it's in the... It's, in the, the it's on house? a shrubbery next yeah. to the end of the clearing. Cause light wounds. Oh, Yeah. <laughs> They each get scraped. (laughs) Do harm. (laughs) You do harm. You do eight damage to one of the pigs. Yeah. Oh, boy. It it shrivels. Is it dead? This one is. One of the three. So we got two up. Oh, yeah. It's exciting. One one down. All right. Mm -hmm. Did someone order a dead pig? (laughs) I did. Good. Here's your order. Whose turn is it? I think Steve, maybe. Do we get another round? Yeah, we're in combat, baby. All right. Um, I I I pull out my sword and I I I I (laughs) swing it at a monster. What is a sword? Yeah, yeah. It's okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm so confident. I'm gonna you seem, charge you, it. You seem extra confident right now. Yeah, actually, you know what? Before <laughs> I do this, I rip board. off my shirt, <laughs> take my sword out and my shield, and I do that special sword shield attack. You know, what's special about it? <laughs> I don't know. It was on my Zach's character on sheet. Okay, you do it. You hit it with your sword and then your shield. Uh, the sword hits. The shield doesn't do damage because it's like a shield. You smack it, but it doesn't seem very bothered by it. But your sword hits the other one for three, three, six damage. Three, six? No, six. Six, six damage. It uh, takes six damage, and it's fine. It's like, I love this. Uh, my turn? No, it's the pig's turn. It's like an Adam's family pig. <laughs> <laughs> he likes it. Loves getting hit with a shield. All right, the pig attacks Steve, and it bites you with its uh, eldritch mouth. Oh, no. Dealing 16 damage. Are you dying? You might be dying. I think I'm dying. you know how much health you have? I don't. It was over 30. Okay. But I'm at, I've lost 30 health. Yeah, you've now lost 30. Wait, so. So you're not dying. You're you're on the ropes. Junior's dying? No, he's on the ropes. I think he's the highest. I'm on the ropes. It's okay. I'm a cleric. (laughs) That's true. Um, I I take my, uh. Do I have a short bow? Yeah. 
Uh, I take short bow and I and I uh, and I fire off. Am I, how many can I fire off at once? Just one or one. two? One. Okay, I fire off a short bow. It misses. You fucker! I just <laughs> this dice app. It's never given me problems before. <laughs> uh, I it's heal bad, uh, diarrhea. <laughs> 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 you heal him for seven yes. damage. He casts Pepto Bismol. <laughs> <laughs> Arise, young soldier. I have a plan, guys. Okay. We each take a potato grenade. Oh. Pull the pin, throw it together. Three, just like, let's get rid of these guys. Let's do it together as a team. Love it. With the music in our hearts and the confidence in our bosom. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, I, I take a potato grenade. You do that. Carlos? Me too, yeah. Count of three? On the count of three. One? Two. See you on the other side, gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> three. Throw! They all explode, killing the pigs with explosions. Yeah! Oh, boy. He did it. <laughs> but then all these trees start toppling over and you oh. see a 15 foot tall pig. It's oh, got no. it's got big armor plates and crab claws and it's breathing fire. Oh god. What? Yeah. Oh Jesus. We need wait, we need How big is it? 15 feet? 15 feet at the shoulder. Okay. So like twice the size of a horse maybe? Is this is it possible to Three attack times? it from the inside kind of like Drax in <laughs> Guardians of the Galaxy? <laughs> Uh, it's po- sure that's possible. <laughs> Where's a ten-year-old kid with a handgun when you need him? <laughs> Remember that kid that shot Hod- Hogzilla? What's, what's what's another spell what? that I have, Spencer? What's another spell you have? Uh, Google Hogzilla. Sphere. Huh? What was what's Hogzilla? Giant fucking pig, the size of a goddamn like like, a, like an SUV. Yeah. It was like yeah. Do you see that picture? Yeah. Everyone thought it was fake. Because it looks like a Photoshop thing. And like a kid a killed it? a fucking gigantic pit. Yeah, it was like, like a kid shot it with a handgun. Yeah. Damn. I mean, he probably needed to. The thing was the size of a submarine. <laughs> <laughs> like, he, did, he, he probably did a good thing. You're not worried about the giant 15-foot armor-plated crab pig in front of us? I feel like, I feel like it, it mission accomplished as far as pig life goes. <laughs> Once you get to the size of a bus, it's like you did. No, we're you, ta- I'm talking about the one that's in front of us right oh, now. Oh, oh, I thought I thought you were <laughs> Carlos. Stay in the fucking oh, game, sorry. baby. Are you? Are you, you guys never heard of simulation theory? You don't. You don't think it's possible that we're all just in some weird uh, tabletop game? Okay. No way, man. Um, I think. I think silver flame for life. <laughs> I think simulation theory is like uh, compelling evidence that like religions are still possible. Like you could still be all like, ah, you know what's happening? There's everyone's hands. Everyone's actually hands, and that's my religious belief. And people be like, maybe that sounds great. Firebolt. <laughs> um, <laughs> you hit. You hit the underside. Of, you hit like a. Uh, you you hit the gas canister on the underside of it, and it blows up. Like in a crazy explosion. What? This pig was a robot. Ah! Cliffhanger! Thank you all. Steven Spielberg is our guest next week. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, you, sorry, you just got a bad show. No, it was fun. It was fun. Give it up for Zach, Nolan, Church, Steve Levy, everybody. Game Master, Fabuloso, Spencer Crittenden. I'm your comptroller, Jeff Davis. Your mayor, Dan Harmon. Thank you all for coming. Drive fast and take chances. Zach, put a beat on. Get any of that? It's a good show!